Happy New Year's, you guys. It's January 1st, 2024. I'm going to be turning 40 this year. I started this channel back in 2015, kind of thinking I'm going to finally get in shape, get fit, and stay fit. All right, let me share how I figured out how to lose weight and keep it off. And it will also give me like just that kind of anchor to keep it off. The other day as you know 2023 is coming to a close I kind of was like looking through some of the old videos and it's just like I had to admit to myself and realize that for the past 20 years my life my story is that I'm on a weight loss roller coaster I hate to say it out loud but it's the truth I have to admit it to myself and each time I lost weight I thought okay this is it I'm never going back if I if I gain five pounds I'm gonna nip it in the butt and and you know get back on track well five pounds became ten pounds and she became 70 pounds 80 pounds and I have to accept that this has been my life story of always having an issue with my weight I'm ready for a new story so this is going to be our year. <sighs> My new story is going to be about how I have learned how to stay focused on myself, stay focused on the things that I want, stay focused on the experience that I want to have to learn and grow and develop myself. I know if I do that, Getting fit will be the byproduct of that. Getting fit will be the byproduct of that because I will be filling up my own cup. The great thing about always being on this weight loss roller coaster is that I have learned that every single time I fill up my own cup, the weight comes off. It's never about my willpower so good, I'm saying no to the fries, I'm saying no to this, but that means that I have a desire for the fries, I have a desire for the pizza. When I fill up my own cup and I am focused on myself, my self-development, what kind of human being I wanna be, I don't even want those things because all I'm focused on is how I feel, what makes me feel good. And I remember when I was fit, I would be like, I don't even want the fries because I know it's gonna make me feel bad. I was in such a good momentum of doing things that felt good that the thought of fries wasn't something I had to fight off. I had no desire for it because I knew that if I ate it, not I would feel guilty or shame or anything like that. I knew if I ate it, I would feel bloated. I would feel like dragged down. And it was because I was so in tune with everything that I want, everything I desire, what makes me feel good, going to the gym making me feel good, that I didn't want to invite anything in that would make me feel bad. And so I'm going to get back to this place of focusing on myself. So for the past few months, I have been doing fasting, but I have been lenient because it's been the holidays. It has been about just kind of keeping my head down and trying to figure this out because you guys know I started posting videos back in 2022 and I've been trying to figure this out for the past year and a half. So past few months, I was like, okay, I'm just going to shut it down and just try and figure this out. And I had to sort through some negative blockages that I was having in my life because if you've been watching the past year, I was talking, I've been talking a lot about stress and being frustrated and all of this stuff. I had to clear out those negative blockages first before it would allow me to like really stop and focus on myself. And it's so important because focusing on myself allows me to fill up my cup which allows me to lose the weight because I just don't end up desiring the food. Really ended up being about control. I learned in the past few months that when I'm stressed and I'm frustrated, it's really because I'm trying to con control external factors in my world. You cannot control anything but yourself, but that gives you the power. I was giving my power away because of this person or that person or this circumstance or whatever, I, could, I can't control those things, but all I can do is control myself and control whether or not I expose myself to this or learn something new so I change my perspective on something else. I can pivot and I can adjust and I can approve or deny what I allow into my world. 
once I kind of learned that again, I felt like I had my power back. I feel like I'm getting my mojo back. I feel like I'm getting myself back because I let myself get a little bit lost in that and I lost my power. It's given me a sense of freedom. I feel so much better. Even over the past year, I've been like, I've got to focus on myself. I've got to focus on things I want. And you guys know, if you watched my videos, I tried really hard, but it would never really stick. But I think it's because I had these things mentally that were blocking me. I can only focus on myself, control myself, and allow myself to be certain places or not. It's, it's allowed me the freedom now. So I definitely suggest if, you know, you know that you have to focus on yourself and you're having a hard time, something else is constantly pulling at you, remembering that the only thing you can control is yourself and, you know, you can remove yourself from a situation or not even try to control anybody else or anything else because you can control where you are, what you allow yourself to be in the presence of. And so now, especially with the new year, it's good timing because now all I'm gonna focus on is myself. Focus on growing myself, self-development, becoming a better person. For every time I've lost weight and then gained it back, it was because I started to lose my focus on myself and building my life and creating and deciding what experiences I want in my life and working towards it all of that stuff. So for this new year, my two big goals are going to be to stay focused on myself. How well and how often can I stay focused on myself and what I want and decide what I want in my experiences, all of that good stuff. And to start a business. That's something I've always had at heart is that kind of entrepreneurial spirit. Um, so figuring out what that is and just kind of letting myself go there. There's so many benefits to focusing on myself. Have you ever met someone or seen someone that just kind of has that it factor where it's like you kind of can't stop like staring at them? Like what is it about them? You just feel kind of like drawn to somebody and you kind of can't put your finger on it. And I think that's their ability to focus on themselves, on focus on how good they feel. And they're only really worried about themselves, not in a selfish way, but just a centeredness. I believe that when we focus on other things external, it's very, it, very unstable because it's always changing and we can't control it. But when we focus only on ourselves, that's where we get that stability from. That's where we get that groundedness from because we, no one knows our, ourselves better than ourselves. And I think that's why we get drawn to it because I think innately we know that that's kind of the place to be. That's where we want to be. And it doesn't mean being like somebody else. It just means like something inside us is telling us like, yes, like that's, that's I think the key to success in life is following your center and staying centered. But when we have internal self-esteem, it's solid ground and it's so much stronger than external validation. That's where I end up losing my footing is when I start allowing external things to be our, be my source of self-esteem. And that allows me to stop worrying about what others think. The most important is my own thoughts, my own opinions about what I'm doing. Do I think it's right or do I think it's wrong? That's always the most important. One of the things that I really want to focus on is I have put getting fit on such a pedestal. As, as hard as I try not to do it, up the past 20 years, this has been my, my thing that I'm like, I want to get fit and get in shape. And it's caused me to, when I'm out in the world and see strangers, I always notice people who are super fit. Okay, what is it about them? Like, how do they do it? How, how did they get there? How do they stay there? I think it's subconsciously put them on a pedestal for me. Every time I lose weight, I always kind of end up self-sabotaging and I think it's because I put it on such a pedestal. When we put things on a pedestal, then they tend to be, you know, better than everybody else. And so we're, we're all human beings, we're all learning, we're all on different journeys, trying to figure different things out. And I know innately 
because I lose lose weight, it's not like I'm up here. I'm still the same person. And I think subconsciously, I know that so I'm subconsciously self-sabotage. So self-sabotage. So what I need to do is take this whole fitness thing off the pedestal. And now instead of looking at people and saying, okay, how did you get fit? Like in my head, you know, how did you get fit? What is different about you? Like, and instead now I'm gonna start being like, I'm gonna start looking at people's hearts. That's gonna be the thing that I start looking for. For me, that's the most important thing. That's the most beautiful thing. That's the most magical thing is who a person is at their heart. I wanna just stop looking through health and fitness lens and start looking at heart lens. The more I do all of this, I'm adding more value, so I'm adding more self-esteem and I'm opening more doors for myself. And then focusing on ourselves gives us back our control because then we don't have anyone to blame. We can't say this person did this or this person did that. I just control where I'm at and what I approve or what I deny. All right, so 2024, this is gonna be the year where I change my story and now it's gonna be about how I learned my lesson. It took me 20 years, but life is too short. Life is fleeting and I don't want the, my entire story to be ups and downs of weight loss. There are so many great things in life to learn and achieve and, and experience that I don't wanna spend all my time on this one thing. I am the one common denominator in all of the ups and downs of my life. We only have ourselves. So I think it's important and I'm gonna remind myself over and over this year how important it is to focus on myself, to make my light shine as bright as possible because we are the only person that we have. So let's make our light shine as bright as we can wherever we go. The, the brighter we can make our light, the easier it is for the darkness to go away. What is it that, um, you know, darkness can't drive out darkness, only light can do that. Now that I'm gonna start like focusing on myself and building my light and adding value, the easier things will be throughout life because, you know, the brighter your light shines, the easier everything else kind of is because you have that stability, that stable ground that's kind of gonna be your anchor to get you through everything. It does take time. I'll have a couple days where I'm like, oh yeah, I'm really like getting back on track. I'm really feeling like myself again. And something else, something will happen that makes you feel like, oh, I lost it. I've kept on telling myself it's getting better. I feel it coming back. It's starting to break loose. All of that negative energy, it's starting to break loose. And I'm starting to, to uncover myself again. Even though there's setbacks here and there, it gets better and it gets better. Tomorrow may be better and next week may be even better. So keep going. We're gonna do this, you guys, 2024. Thank you to all of you who've kept up with me all this time. 2015, that's almost 10 years, but I hope this year is our year. We're gonna figure it out how to get the weight off and keep it off. Thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you made it this far. I know it's a long one. Um, love you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Mwah.